a minute. I'm not Miss Umbridge. Oh no, Boog, what happened to you? <laughs> ah! Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Boog and Dad TV. <gasps> all right, Dad, I made it. You all right? Yeah. Good, because today we're here to review the Harry Potter Lego set. Umbridge's Encounter! Right, this one's called, it's got a long title, Forbidden, Forbidden Forest, Forest Umbridge's Encounter. Right, and it's coming in at a whopping 253 pieces. And you get to see you got a nice looking box here. This is part of the new uh, Harry Potter series for uh, this year, for 2020. Um, there's your nice shot. Boo, can you slide that back? Actually, I'll just move the box up here for a sec. Get a good look at it. There's your nice shot of all the minifigs that you get with it. So in this one, you're getting um, uh, a few new ones. Two Cantars here, which are pretty cool. I don't think those have been released before. And we've got Miss um, Umbridge. Uh, nice figure. Harmony. Am I saying that right? Harmony? And Harry. Hermione. Hermione, yes. And this is where Miss Umbridge meets her doom. So we'll turn around and give you a shot of the back. Nice looking little set here. Like I said, nothing too huge in this, but uh, I think they did it just about right. But definitely a nice piece to the addition to the Harry Potter collection. All right, so Boo, who should we start with? You wanna start with the minifigs? Yeah. All right. Let's start with Miss Umbridge. And there she is. Scream face. But yeah, she's got some really but awesome. Basically, without without the giant, um, she basically looks like she kind of looks funny. Yeah, she's there in her famous pink outfit. She didn't come with a cat, um, which would have been kind of cool. Got on some uh, some pink painted on shoes there, and they did a nice job with the print on the front of her. Uh, I guess that would be her dress. Nice looking part of the back. I think the the hair is, is good. Looks nice, and she definitely looks terrified, as she should be. Um, Boog, does she have two faces or just one? Dad, hold her, please. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, on the back side there, she's got like a smiling, evil little smirk. Right, Boog? Like, she is definitely up to no good. But without, without the giant, uh, without the giant... She kind of looks kind of off place here. <laughs> I love that one. Next up, we have the Cantar. And he looks really good, too. Look at that face print. Angry guy. Comes with a nice bow and arrow, which we've seen before. Another uh, really good print job on the front. Kind of his, uh, his body there. He's got a nice little satchel for this, his arrows. And there's another shot of the other side of his kind of horse body. And from behind. So I think he's a pretty great figure, too. And I don't know if I've ever seen these in a Lego version. And either. he does have a, another face. And oh, does it's he? shown on the other one. Oh, okay. So I'll, I will show you this one because the face is different. So on this one, he's kind of showing some teeth. He's kind of more angry. And this one, he looks a little more angry. They don't look really happy in either one. I think Lego did a pretty good job with these guys. All right, Boo. Let's see the new Harry. Harry's got some new duds on here. I think... Uh, I think the, the, the head print and the haircut is about the same. But you can see he's got a really cool print on the front here. The jacket, just a brown shirt underneath, and the blue jeans. Looks nice. Yeah, I think it's actually red. What's red? Oh, the shirt's red? Oh, okay. I think it's more red. And the back, uh, they did a good job with the print there, too. To kind of show yeah, you he's the wearing box, a hoodie. it looks like he's more red. Okay. And then, last but not least, we have Hermione. And they did another great job with her with the print in the front. Oh, She's got a sweater on, kind of with some stripes. The face and hair look great. This is the older version of Hermione. Come with the pretty standard uh, Harry Potter lantern. So if you've done these sets before, you've probably got plenty of these. Just straight up black pants, nothing too special there. But another nice bit of screen printing on the back of that sweater there, which is really, really cool. And there's the other side of her face. So you kind of got angry face and... Pretty happy face for money. And I'm a minifigure too. <laughs> and now it's time for the, the mega minifig. The giant. Now the giant is, uh, I think it looks great. Look at that more, you know, that, that screen print on the face there. 
I think they really nailed that. It's a good look for him. He looks like a giant. Uh, the haircut is more absolutely... like. Look at this belly. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll get that in a second. This, hair, this haircut is awesome too. Turn around, and show all the details on the haircut. Um, he's definitely a giant uh, compared to the minifigs, but he's not overly large, uh, which keeps the piece count down on this set, which also keeps the cost down. Yeah, then the, that belly I was talking about earlier. Now, are those stickers there, Boog, for his uh, chest hair? Yeah. And pieces there, so those are stickers you have to put on. Of course, there's just a shot at his belly. <laughs> and down I below... I like that they even added the piece here where it looks like a belly button. Yeah, yeah, you got definitely a little... A little uh, single block there for the belly button mm -hmm. um what about the legs down here and he's got lego style legs which is awesome these are stickers oh those two are stickers kind of show the tattered pants at the bottom and then we'll get a shot of his hands they look nice what's their regular big thick hands oh re just regular big thick hands okay yeah. gotcha yeah and he's about what is he maybe twice the size of a big fig i would yeah. say close to it but here's probably the worst part okay what's up the back Oh, yeah, this is where they left the details off. Boo, exactly right. So the front looks really fleshed out. Um, and I guess this was, uh, sorry about that, let me get that one down. Was to kind of get them to keep that piece count down. Um, but yeah, they really, really uh, dropped the ball here with the back. Because um, as you can see, uh, you get no detail whatsoever. Just kind of the back of the arms there is just the back of the Legos. Same thing with the back of the torso and the back of the legs. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. He is definitely a figure you will want to be replacing. I mean, you want to be displaying from the front. Right, Boot? Yeah. But you know what? I mean, to try to keep these uh, the cost down on these things, I, I don't mind that at all. He's still a blast to play with. Um, and, you know, hey, whatever it takes at this point for LEGO to keep the price down on some of these sets. Because you, so know, that, uh, because you know that is a cheap fanatic. Well, not just that, but everybody else. I mean, you want to keep... These, these are... Um, you know, it's supposed to be for kids, so you want to keep it in a price range where, uh, you know, kids' parents can afford to buy them, hopefully as many sets as possible, uh, so, you know, they can't get too crazy with the expense, and sometimes Legos does that, so, mm -hmm. and they're not the only one that's guilty. Hasbro does it too with Star Wars. We overpay for that stuff all the time. Yeah, here, go, here we go, Dad doing his <laughs> cheap magics. And then the last piece of the set here is, of course, the part of the forest, the Forbidden Forest, and you get the tree here. Which is not just any ordinary tree. It's a pretty nice looking tree. That's Maybe not... some mushrooms down there kind of growing on it. Picks what the red things are, just give it some detail. Pretty much your standard Lego tree, I think. What do we have here, Big? A little, a little spider? Yeah. Little spider kind of here on that side. Little spider. So what's inside the tree there? You didn't show anybody. Mmm. This is really good. So there is a turkey leg hidden inside the tree. Yeah, you're supposed to ask where's the turkey. Oh, Aiden, where did you get that turkey leg? I'm starving. Don't you know that you can open the tree. I did not. So the tree opens up and what's going on in there? So what is that? Um, it's a best, it's a, I honestly don't know what that is, but I put Hermione's wand in here because he weren't okay, using it. Okay, and I see a little bone. And obviously the chicken leg, which I took. <laughs> so I guess the giant uses the tree for some storage. Looks like he's kind of got some personal items going on in there. But we're not quite sure what that is. Interesting. All right. Um, so this, Boog, uh, um, like I said, he built himself, uh, the set himself. So I'll kind of have to let him tell you uh, what he thought about the build. It was very fun. All right. Very fun. So was um, <clears throat> was the bags uh, clearly numbered? Yeah, get your hair out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about the number on the bags? Um, there was two packs. One was basically the tree and minifigures. Um. Basically, pack one was the um, was the uh, man horse uh -huh. dudes, right? And the second it, with uh, with Harry Potter, and the second one w had um had obviously with the tree, and pack two um had the giant, um Miss Umbridge and Hermione in it. Okay, gotcha. And uh, so just have... two packs. How was the instructions? Pretty clear to follow? Yeah. Any issues that you need to tell the audience about? No. And probably, um, 
And of course, Lego had to put um, probably the re one of the reasons why people buy it, Miss Umbridge, and Pack 2. Right. They make you wait. Of course. All right, guys. Well, I think that'll wrap it up on our Forbidden Forest Umbridge's encounter. Um, wait. With the giant here. We need to show. And, of course, Boo's going to give us a little movie so action see here. the feet. Right. The feet. Yes. And the grip. Grips. Okay. Grasp. So the hands made with the feet just kind of slide in there. Is that right? Oh, yes. Miss Umbridge is in trouble. Put me down. Ah. She's getting what she deserved, right? Yeah. Right. For being so naughty to Dumbledore. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button. Uh, Boo, you want to give them your part? Okay, guys. In this video, make sure to subscribe to Book and Dad TV. For some more awesome toy fun. Bye. See you next time.